Miranda, can you get inside? Okay, thank you. Jeez, close the freaking door. I'm getting so tired of that bite. It's so annoying. Throw the flames. Just throw the goddamn flames, okay? Where did you come from? Alrighty guys, we are back in our, what do you call it now, update 27 lethal victory lap walkthrough? I think that's how we've been saying it anyway. Uh, what is good guys, we are now, I would say, in, what? well I'm just gonna call it the end game. All of our hearts have been taken care of, we just got a stupid infestation there. All of our hearts have been taken care of, now we are just going to pretty much be doing Kelly's missions until the end. This may be our last episode, may or may not be, we'll see. But all right, let's just get started on which, whatever she's got to handle. She's on to talk to everybody, do I? No way. I think it's just a few. Okay, yeah, just four people. Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. All right, hey. Yeah, really cool. That's good, dude. Hey, Sears. Is this guy's like standing all the way up? I think we got everyone to hero status. Yes, exceptional taste, plus three morale. Cool. Yes, yes. Everybody is a hero. Not everyone's got their shooting. But that's okay. Shooting, in my opinion, is like, you know, the, the least important one. I, I really don't care that much about it. Um, if I could get gunslinging, then yeah, it's great. But otherwise, everything else I just kind of treat as an equal. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you guys have already heard how I rank it. You know, gunslinging, assault. Um, oh yeah, and that depends on whether or not I have a Red Talon workshop or not. With a Red Talon Workshop, then Weapon Handling is last. Otherwise, I would still give it a close second. Alright, cool. Look at that, free 200 influence for literally just talking to people. Let's actually just go take care of that, uh, that infestation right now. Oh, damn. Probably gonna have to build a Trade Depot, don't I? Probably. So that lounge is gonna have to go for a hot second. All right, 42 minutes. Okay, good. We still have time on those things. Actually, just in case, because things can always turn ugly with infestations, even the immature ones, we are going to make sure that we have everything that we could need, just in case. Should just be some fire, cure, maybe a distraction. I really, I'm quite sure we're not going to need that, but, you know, whatever. All right. Just up by that warehouse. Five bucks says we're gonna find a feral before we actually get there. Let's see what happens. Uh -oh, that's a feral. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Why am I not surprised? Where is he? Ah, oh, jeez, what an asshole. Where, where are you? Oh, hey, buddy. Come and get it. How did I know? I freaking called it. Freaking jackass. Yeah, I got your number. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. Uh, Feral should be, hopefully, out of the way. Okay. I guess we don't have to deal with that infestation. Uh, fine. Great. Uh, I... Alright, that's fine. Alright, fine. How are materials doing? Materials are still only at 13. Uh, we've been at, like, a... Very slight and steady increase with that one. It really does help to have a staging area, or in this case, you know, the, the uh, concrete silos. Um, because trying to find materials on any map in the lethal zone is, just, in my opinion, it's not impossible, it's just, it's finite. Finite as hell. Unless you use the radio command, of course. Hey, Jeff, what's up, buddy? You're staring at me kind of funny. Okay. So, you know, you're not going to need these things. We're just pretty much going to be playing the waiting game for uh, for her missions, I guess. Yeah, we can do that. We still have hearts that we have not fully looted. That much I do remember. Three, yeah, probably not. 
Seven. Whoa, we didn't even touch that heart, so, you know, whatever. Um, like, this is the perfect time for me to actually get my offensive resources in order. Um... Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Sheriff. Oh, and Molotovs. Excellent. Yeah, because I don't have any more prestige points, um, you know, for the Red Talon Trader. Which is, you know, perfect for the final mission of any, um, of any hero, or any legacy. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, so we are better off finding everything that we can. Uh, where? Yeah, okay, we're up the road, up that way. I don't even see it. Okay, there you are. Jeez, had me confused for a hot second. So, I mean, yeah, we're just going to see what we, what we can find. Chances are we're going to be using a lot of pipe bombs and just, just like, simple fire. Pipe bombs, uh, mainly for juggernauts. And fire for the regular Zeds. And, of course, you know, flashbangs for humans. I think we should be fine with the humans. Honestly, it's the siege that comes up. that That's the main threat. Part of what makes humans rather difficult, or hostile humans, I should say, rather difficult, um, is the fact that you are typically outnumbered. There's more than one of them. You know, one person against one person, you know, you have reasonably good chances. Okay, still no explosives, but at least we can stock up on our ammo. Uh, backpack, don't care. Sure, take the plague samples. Sure, take the gun and the stim. We can probably use that stim, actually. That's a good idea. Alright, look at that. Our first point in endurance, guys. Yeah, because this is, this is not like, you know, one of those 100-day playthroughs or something like that. Um, not everyone's going to have all of their skills mastered. You know, it's whatever. It's the specialization, however, that matters. In fact, yeah, let's get our gas up, too. We're going to try to, like, just get everything up as much as we can. Materials, I'm not too worried about. Moreover, crafting parts, if anything. But, I mean, those are also directly related to materials, right? Okay, uh, we're going to stop off at an outpost. What other hearts do we have? Three, no, three, no, two, one, three, four. An asshole on the side of the van that just won't let me think for a hot second. Hey, you ran through the tree. No. Okay, great. Thanks for taking the door. Whatever. Uh, let's find... Let's just go to our next outpost. We'll plan from there. Because, yeah, I think there are several hearts that we didn't actually loot properly. Hey, Juggy. Now, unfortunately, uh, my, uh, what do you call it, my flashbangs, those things aren't craftable. And we're going to be facing multiple humans before we actually get to the last mission. At least I think we are. I'm not sure if all final ones are like that, and I don't fully remember. But I like to be, like, prepared. I'd rather have, like, an overstock than an understock, because I've been understocked before. It's not fun. You have a really rough freaking day. Okay, uh, let's drop off, well, whatever we can, anyway. Rucksack has to stay, you can go, and you can go. And you can eat a fat one. I never even upgraded the ammo outpost, but that's going to cost material, so screw it, we're not going to upgrade it. Alright, you go, you go, and... Keep one stim, we'll leave that for an emergency. Yeah, we'll leave it for an emergency. Otherwise, we have fire, health, good. Oh, we have a lot of health, actually. Maybe even more than we'll actually need. Uh, just put you away to free up some space. Okay, next heart. One, nope, three, probably not. Four, maybe, but hi highly unlikely. Same thing. Three, same thing. Seven. We haven't looted that heart. Four, maybe. Okay. Seven again. Okay, that one's a bit closer. Five. We'll still. Okay, so we got uh, we got three hearts so far to stop off at. Four, maybe, but unlikely again. Okay, yeah. Let's just head in that direction. We'll take pit stops along the way just to see, until uh, homegirls' missions decide to show up. And why aren't these things really coming with many like you know like offensive stuff? Like give me some fire or something. Not woolly peats because those are now useless. But I'd still use them. I think we still have one C4 left in our weapons lockup, too. 
We probably shouldn't be using Kelly for this. Okay. Yeah, hey, Jordan. What do you want, man? Better not be up to any kind of funny business. Got our weapons, yes. Hey, buddy, what's up? Okay, a juggernaut. Oh, all right, cool. Was that the juggy we saw? Never mind. All right, cool. It's going to be one of those easy missions. Yeah, you're going to want the crossbow that's in there. Not that I care about it anyway. I didn't even notice that this vehicle was here this whole time. I love this one, too. Oh, boy, that's not good. Now this is actually pretty bad. I don't know if we can kill this dude. And there's a feral there. Oh, Jesus Christ, he scared me. Okay, this is... Um, this is going to get a little interesting. I think Homeboy's going to die. Okay. Come on. Oh, you're out of stamina. Come on, hun. Could have killed the feral just right there. Yeah, don't touch me, stupid Zed. Come on. Fall or die, whatever. Alright, we didn't bring any explosives because we're smart like that. Okay, dude, we gotta keep the fight in one spot. Oh, <laughs> alright. Uh, cool. Wow, this, this Juggernaut's really not paying attention to me at all. He really wants this guy dead. Hey, buddy, can you, like, keep the fight over here, man? You're running into more Zeds, you asshole. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let me just run this way. Hopefully, he'll follow me back to where the van is. Canning station. Oh, oh okay, that's a, I think that's a kitchen mod or something like that. Okay. There you go, dude. I just want to get the influence and give you your ish before you die, because I'm pretty sure you're not doing the greatest right now. I don't think I, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Alright. Oh, he's... He's a dead man. He's a dead man. I can't do anything about that. Yeah, maybe not for us, but... Oh, snap! He survived? Oh, snap, wow. Oh, uh, this is not good now. Now this is not good. He's he's dead. He's dead. And I don't have any explosives. I've got nothing. He's he's a dead man, and he's somehow still surviving. Okay, now he's dead. Yeah. You know what? I don't care. That's homeboy's fault. Jeez. Moron. Okay. Did the Juggernaut disappear too? Nope. Okay, great. We're gonna have to switch out our weapon. Somehow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there, there's literally... I, I don't think there's really anything I could have done to save that guy. <laughs> and I wasn't gonna unload, like, my entire, like, magazine to try and kill him. I don't know how many shots exactly it takes to take down a Juggernaut, but, um... I think it's gonna definitely be more than 30 measly rounds. Even with the additional 19. Uh, I, yeah, there's nothing I could do. Plus, my weapon's breaking down. It's only a matter of time before I put myself in an even more risky situation. No thanks. I could still kill him, though. Something with high impact. 14 pounds? Okay, good. We're still not in the heavy. We don't need that crossbow, though. There you go. That's a little bit better. Do we have any explosives at all? We have one grenade. I'm willing to part with this grenade. I prefer to use it against Zeds than, you know, humans. Pipe bombs, however, those things are pretty good. And I don't want my van getting destroyed. Okay, yeah, still nothing. Alright. Okay, that was a fail. Who misses a bloater? Okay, you know what? We don't have to kill that juggernaut. I don't think there's really anything else in that van that I'd really want. Like, I think it's like mainly Zed Eye, uh, Zed Adrenaline, maybe some bolts, an old like uh, 
crossbow that I'm not going to care about. So, so whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you guys alone, okay? You can keep your victory wherever you are, Mr. Juggy. It looks like he's not even there anymore. Okay, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. We, we don't have to kill him. It's okay. And you guys already know that I would kill him. Four. Uh, okay, no, we're not going to stop for the four. Let's go for the seven ones, because those ones have not been touched. The fours, we possibly could have just left four things on purpose. Five, I know I'm missing something. Even if it's just play examples. But all right, I'm surprised. That guy lasted a, a while. He got grabbed, I think, three times, and the Zeds kept screwing it up. If I had explosives, I could have saved him. But, uh, no. Maybe we should have taken the sneaky route of doing that one. But, I mean, influence is really not that big of a deal right now. We're at 2,500. We're in the end game. There's very little that actually matters. The adventurers? Who the hell are you guys? Well, we're going to be heading in that direction anyway. What do they want? A portable generator. <laughs> okay. What's our first heart that we're going to stop off at? We're going to stop off. There's a 7 one around here. There's also a 5. 4. Okay, we'll, we'll stop at the 5 one. I think this one says... Plague samples. Okay, so that's what's remaining in there. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. The 5 one, though, we'll see what's in there. And there's also a 7 1, I think, right by my outpost. Like, Kelly, are you are you not coming up with missions because I'm I, I am you right now? Whatever. When we get to our next outpost, we'll switch off of her. We don't want her getting tired or anything like that. Stupid feral. We're not dealing with you. No, thank you. I've fallen for that trap too many times. Um, like over the course of this walkthrough. Did I get the right spot? Okay, good. It's like hidden in there. All right. All right what do you want? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can suck a fat one. All right, heart. No, I refuse. Why can't everywhere be this quiet? Okay, so we already took everything that we needed out of there. We're just gonna take you. Okay, great. Let's go. Great. That makes things way easier. We're gonna have enough space for the seven one that's remaining there. And we're by the outpost, so great, we can make a quick switch, no problem. I don't know if we have a portable generator in our uh, in our inventory, but that would speed up the process just a little bit. I usually like to save those. I never use portable generators, personally. I never freaking use them. Um, maybe in, like, really dire, desperate circumstances, maybe. Wait, what's going on? What's that? Trading and sharing with our neighbors, all our lives would get better. Let's get this town's economy jump started by figuring out how people out there can help each other. Okay. Hey, does anyone out there have extra resources and need some help finding a buyer? <sighs> Look at that. Yes, please. Extra heavy right, weapon, on. maybe. I'm on my way. Health is always good to have. So is that ammo, rucksack, definitely repair kit. Um we are not carrying any plague samples to stack. But still, again, we didn't get any explosives, did we? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't know if it's a lethal thing. I'm, I'm not sure how it is on the lower difficulties. Um, like, if you get more explosives in them now. Yeah, I don't know what to think. Alright, talk to Sanso, Colony of Survivors, about what they need. Where are those people now? Okay, good. Perfect. They're still on the way. That's fine. Is a waste of time. Not exactly, sweetheart. Well, I mean, maybe now it will be. Uh, I don't really care much about the heavy weapon. I think we'll be okay. We have, I would say, a good amount of heavy weapons to make a healthy rotation. Uh, so anything else is really just excess. Uh, oh, snap. Yeah, we gotta drop it off at the outpost. We're not really going anywhere just yet. Even though I'm pretty sure this is some, somewhat of a glitch, I appreciate how the whole building kind of gets lit up when your car is parked outside with the lights on. Almost the whole building, anyway. Like, a good portion of it. 
Jeez, okay, the flashlight really helps. <laughs> All right, let's drop you guys off. We'll still keep the grenade because you never know. I have no idea who's going to possibly go hostile on this whole trek. I'm not too familiar with the traitor uh, final missions. We don't need that ammo. We'll keep the grenade. Take a flashbang just to be safe. Do we put anything in the trunk? Stuff that we can't put away. Okay. Keep the stim too. Uh, Alright, so we're heading back down that way. Did we have another Seven's Heart there? No, that one's two. Three. Okay, let's go talk to homeboys over there. And as we make our way over there, we still have a Seven Heart right there. So we'll be fine. What I do remember, it though, is that, like, this mission's kind of, like, tedious. You know, you're driving here, driving there, you know, get this item there. It's just very, you know. Versus Warlord, it's like, or Sheriff, it's like, hey, yo, you guys with us? Because there's some assholes around that we're trying to kill. You know, it's like, like, whoa, ish is about to go down type thing. This just feels like I'm driving from point A to point B to point C and rinse and repeat. Did we take the right path? Okay, good, we're coming up on them now. There you guys are. We forgot to look for a portable uh, generator in our lockup, but whatever. Alright, we got a ton of tobacco, but we're light on hygienic goods. Think you can find somebody to hook us up? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that's fair. Thanks, okay, buddy. cool. What do you guys have, though? Anything that I could use... No, you guys are just selling a bunch of ish that I really don't need to buy. Like, if these luxury items actually had use other than just selling them, I think that'd make um, finding them or having them way more interesting. Like, you know, if you could find, like, uh, like tampons or Q-tips or, I don't know, just, just stuff. Like, use it and this will increase morale for a hot second. Or, like, toothpaste. You know? I, th I think that'd make... Um, yeah, I think that'd make those items just a bit more interesting. Other than it's like, ooh, found some, you know, toothpaste that we don't care about, so let's just sell it. I mean, I think I'd be caring a bit about toothpaste. I think that would raise my morale for a hot second, knowing that I can at least take care of my teeth for a hot second in the apocalypse. Among other things that are going on, of course, but, you know, still. Okay, well, now that I got these things, um... Okay, so that... Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna get a fast vehicle, dude. Maybe I should just drive home, get the Maximilian or something. Because I don't want to do all this in the van. Alright, let me just get your mission prompt started. Yeah, I'll see if I can go find one. Is it going to mark it on the map somewhere, or do I just literally have to go out and find it? Okay, I will literally just have to somehow go and find it. And quite frankly, I would have no idea where to, like, where to start looking. I'm assuming a shed of some sort, but yeah. I'll have to check my lockup, see if we have an extra one. Alright, we got a seven heart right there, and an outpost. Alright. And a bunch of goddamn bloaters who need to stay the hell away from me. Like, you guys were almost perfectly spaced out to cause a really bad, like, you know, problem on the road. Yeah, if we don't if we don't have one, um, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll look in a few sheds here and there, but I'm still my main mission is my priority still. Okay, uh, look at that. We got it. We got it. Return, return the snacks. Keep your stim because you know you're supposed to be like a you're supposed to be a fighter. You just had to scream, huh? You really just had to scream, didn't you? Not dead yet. This is heavy. Why? Had to slap me before I can counterattack you, eh? You jackass, and then you go screaming. Stop touching me. You guys are super annoying. Like, I lost almost half my health from this one encounter. Good lord. 
Hey, Trumbull Trader. I don't even know where you are. Not too far away. Interesting. Don't know what I'm really going to have to buy from her, if anything. Let's, um, let's just heal up a little bit, because that was a, a nasty blender that we just had there. Okay, guys, I got your stupid generator. Gas. We're still okay on gas. We don't have to make any more for now. What we will do, though, since food is actually looking really freaking good right now. You guys are still okay? 22 minutes? Okay, good. Get the still going. And everybody... Oh, snap, you don't even have jugs of ethanol? Okay, well, this thing's useless now. Everybody play some games. If only we had the Xbox. That thing doesn't really cost anything. And it still has a high morale bonus to it. We'll give you guys your stupid generator. And we'll figure out the rest. Yes, yeah, it's really just a lot of driving. And with this van, it's going to be, like, tough on gas. I mainly only took it out, just, you know, because I was going to go loot some hearts. Uh, but, I mean, once we're finished with that last one in the gun store, I think we're pretty much okay. And if there is any remaining ones, you know, whatever. Um, in which case, I'd prefer to switch to a lighter vehicle. It's much better on gas. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't bring it with me. Can you open the trunk? Come on. Yeah, you guys are the worst, man. You guys just have to scream. Every Zed is a mini screamer. Alright, here you go. Got your ish. Cool. Anything that you guys have that I might need. We don't have first aid kits. First aid kits will actually come in quite handy. I'm going to put these in the trunk and I'm also going to get those parts too because we're going to need any kind of parts that we can get. Stop! Oh my gosh. I must say, that is a very annoying mechanic. My first time discovering a Nightmare Zone, I was wondering, like, why are so many Zeds paying attention? And it's because, you know, the Zeds freaking scream all the goddamn time. Yeah, screw you, alright? Screw you guys, okay? All of you. Jesus. Alright, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're putting you away, and we're going to take the parts, because we can use any boost that we can get right now from those. Hey, you're not dead. No, not Do dead. Maybe you? not yet? I don't know. Who knows, maybe the Trumbull Trader has it too, but if we get around to her, then great. Otherwise, again, whatever. Keep these there too, for now. Alright, you guys, you, you, this heart is like pretty much my last hope, because I don't think we've got anything else. Uh, that, you know, could really use some attention. Uh, like, I think everything else has been looted. For the most part. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's see what's in here. Aside from, the, you know, a couple of Zeds that may want to follow me. I haven't seen a Feral in a little while. Not that I'm complaining. Nope, no, no, none of that. Oh, jeez, you guys and that light speed attack are something else. Like, that just totally disobeys any kind of, like, you know, physics. How many of you are really in here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh, the crowd keeps getting bigger. We need to, like, clear this thing out. Oh my gosh, I can't stand that attack. It's probably my pet peeve of this game. Like, even if some- oh, okay, thank you, undead gods. Jeez. Okay, screw you guys, god damn. What's in here? Look at that, we got a grenade, finally, an offensive, like, something. Ammo would be good, we'll take you, heal up with you. This won't stack. Definitely take the energy drinks. Um, at this point, I'll prioritize the ammo. Alright, Gucci. We are Gucci. Let's head down to those other people now. Tech, yeah, we'll take you off my back. 
Oh, that's such a distance to drive. Oh my gosh. I'd, ra I'd Honestly, I'd rather go home. Clear out everything, go home, get a nice fast vehicle, and, you know, make these, these treks just a bit more, you know, manageable. It's, you know, it's a van, it's not very maneuverable, it's, I think it's the worst on gas, like, compared to the other faster vehicles. Plus, I mean, our pockets are kind of full. Survivor activity? Where are you? Uh, you're back there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope you make it out of, you know, whatever crappy situation you're in. Alive. Probably not, but, you know, still. <laughs> I'm not going back. We did have that white... Well, we didn't have it, but we saw that white road racer a while ago. Don't remember where it was. It was right there. We do have gas, but... Nah, it's alright. It only I believe it only has three spaces in its trunk. You know, It's a great vehicle as far as travel goes, but I'd rather go for more of a healthy middle, like the Maximilian at least. But yeah, I love the Road Racer. Man, that thing is fast. Perfect like for like fuel efficiency, it's great. Uh, but um, you know, with the mandatory gas and the mandatory... Uh, what do you call it? Repair kits. You, you essentially only have one space. At least with the Maximilian, you got two. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a step up. But still, great vehicle. Love it. My favorite. My, I would say my favorite vehicle. Um, just for everything, like handling, speed, fuel efficiency. I personally hate the trucks, though. The pickup trucks. I find that those vehicles get stuck so goddamn often. It's so annoying. Like, yeah, this Tiger Claw truck, whatever the hell you call it. Uh, or, or Rames trucks, whatever. I can't stand those ones. Okay, let's get you guys out. We should keep this on us. It's always good to have around. I don't know if uh, the next person is really going to need this. I think we're just... I think we're just... Yeah, we're just going to collect stuff. Leave the ammo. You don't need all that health. I think you'll be okay. Energy drinks, sure. Keep them. Keep the flashbang, too, because you never know what can happen. Grenades, good, good, good. Oh, yeah, and we're going to need you. Okay, this is where you're going to stay. Look at that. A first aid kit, and we still have room for something else. How's gas? Not the greatest. Okay, there we go. I don't know if this gas will actually get us up there. Maybe it will if we're lucky. If we're really, really lucky, actually. And, you know, hopefully rendering is not going to be a major issue. Because, um, you know, on the previous Xbox that I was playing on, rendering was, I think, was, uh, like, a much bigger problem there. And maybe it is, like, you know, based on console. Um, I'm not sure how many glitches really occur on PC, as far as rendering goes. Or, like, you know, bloaters just popping up in your face. Uh, but I, I do think that now, you know, um, the specs of one's systems can influence how the rendering takes place. Because I haven't experienced that as much uh, ever since switching over. And now I feel a bit more free to just hold the gas pedal down and just, you know... Yeah. like it, It's no longer as stressful. I'm not so worried about, you know, some crowd showing up and all of a sudden there's a feral uh, juggernaut and a couple of bloaters that are ready to totally, you know, screw my life over. Yeah, hey, Juggy. I think that was the same one that we passed earlier. Yeah, this game does not forget its freaks. Not easily, anyway. Unless you're ready to kill them. Then it's like, you know, conveniently, they like, dis they, they like to disappear. Okay, yeah, look at that. We can definitely get there on this gas. Wild. The van on this kind of gas? Probably not. Wait, wait, yeah. Yeah, it's this way, right? Yeah, I hope so. Alright, Kelly's probably going to start getting tired real soon. Alright, let's see what these assholes want. Keep the flashbang handy, because you never know. Alright, hey guys. Alright, we've got plenty of high-quality entertainment products. But it's hard to enjoy without to... Okay. I like what I'm hearing. Yeah, great. 
you might be okay after all. Handheld gaming console. See, why can't you use something like that? That would really, I think that would increase morale. Jeez, if someone gave me like a freaking, like a Nintendo Switch or something in the middle of an apocalypse that was, you know, had batteries and all, or, or whatever it needs. You know, sick. You know, cool. Oh, that's really all you guys have? Wow, you guys are funny like that, eh? Okay. Can't you install board games? Wait, DVD, Firewolves, Collectible, Cub, Origami. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, never mind. You can't. I don't think I can install any of this. What did he give us, though? He gave us... Yeah, he gave us a handheld gaming console. It was barely useful. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Uh, where are we going next? Oh, my gosh. Okay, whatever. At least we have the vehicle for it. But, god damn, this is why I hate these, uh... The, the trader missions, it's just, it's a lot. You're, you're literally just driving around point A to point B to point C, rinse and repeat. Right now we're just point A and point B, but god damn, the point A to point B is a lot. How's that gas thing going? Okay, never mind. 11 minutes, 5 minutes, okay, we're getting close. Yeah, guys, take a break, keep the morale going, okay? We don't need any kind of fights, we don't need anything going wrong at all. How are we getting there? We're gonna go around this way. We're gonna take the bridge back without anybody touching my vehicle because we're still smoking. And it probably only takes maybe about maybe about three Zeds to totally destroy this thing. Uh, we will take the right path. Yeah, Feral, I heard you, buddy, but we're not falling for that trap. Yeah, not anymore. You know, the, they, the game wants you to think it's just one Feral. No, <laughs> no. It's, it's a Feral, yes, but it's gonna come with a whole army afterwards. And I've had that happen way too many times, even around here. This was during, I think, one of my live streams. Oh, hey, Juggy. Yeah, I think this was one of my during one of my live streams. I was around here somewhere, and, you know, just one feral, sure, let me kill him. And I think I was looking for materials, and then it just turned into an entire challenge in and of itself. And I don't even think I got the materials. I had to come back later. Uh, yeah, it was wild. I don't remember who it was. I think it was my Red Talon agent who was doing it. Okay, oh my gosh, 1,500 meters to go, guys, or approximately 1,500 meters to go. And I guess this is where the final showdown takes place, yep. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was, it was a good idea to switch the vehicles, because goddamn, that van would have been guzzling down this gas. In fact, it's our trunk full. Talk to... Okay, about what they need. I don't have to, like, deliver this stuff, do I? Oh, whatever, let's keep going. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't remember. I'm hoping I don't have to, like, take the things that they gave me, and then it's like, okay, this person needs that, so let me go run it to them. You know, like, pretty much playing messenger boy. Or, or delivery boy. Oh, my gosh. This is such a distance. <laughs> okay, okay. The road racer would have been slightly more efficient, but uh, I would say almost inconsequentially. And there is still such a thing as going too fast, because you never know what could happen. Alright guys, I'm just around the corner, alright? Here for your next, you know, goddamn order of whatever. Sort of around the corner. Where are we going? Straight ahead. Oh, that's the Scattered Survivor. I remember her. She was one of the first people we met. Sort of. Not really. We disbanded, I think, the first few people that we met. She's, okay, I guess she's one of the, um, like, you know, one of the most long-standing survivors on our map. Or allied survivors on our map. Oh, another Juggernaut. Oh, you gotta push. Oh, this is bad. Thanks, Juggy. Thank you. That, that actually helped just a little bit. But please don't follow me to where she is because I don't need this mission to fail because you decided to kill her like an asshole. So let's get inside and do this real quick. You stay outside. Hey, hun. No, no, no. Don't open the door. You dumb chick, man. And you let her scream, too. Oh, my gosh, hun. You're, you might get us killed out here. That juggernaut's not too far away. Can we talk, please? You're kind of pissing me off. Freaking light speed attack. Thank you for at least defending me. And thanks for allowing an entire army to get here. Yeah, no you're not. 
come on, come on, come on. He's gonna... Okay, thanks. Okay, good. Mission's complete. Awesome. I'm gonna have to kill him. I think I'll have to kill this guy. Oh, great. Now we're getting sleepy. Alright, I guess that survivor, you know, died or something, I don't know, but whatever. No, sweetheart, you stay the hell inside. <laughs> wow, she's brave. Oh, wow, he turned around real quick. Don't kill her, don't, don't kill her. Jesus Christ, oh my gosh, here we go. I might just have to drive away. I don't know if she's going to be important later on. Okay, he... Didn't grab her. Oh, this is not good. She had to go and bring the attention on herself. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, please don't touch the hood. Don't touch the hood. Go, 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 hon. Go. Let's just get the hell away from here, man. Because she's going to kill herself. That's the second survivor that just wants to get killed. Alright, we are, we're going to switch off of Homegirl at our earliest convenience. We just passed our nearest outpost, but, you know, whatever. Trumbull Trader, fine. We'll visit you first, and then we'll peace out. I'm pretty sure you don't have anything that we're really going to need. Where are you? Okay. Oh, my gosh. You know, Juggernauts wouldn't be so bad if the AI wasn't so stupid about them. Like, for example, um, I think it should be standard programming that... AI, if they are armed, use your weapon. Like, use your firearm. Like, you know, before you want to go up to him and try to kick him or something. But, you know, whatever. Fine. It's AI. AI is rarely impressed. Uh, okay. You just got stuff that we probably won't need. We can use the extra seeds, though, I guess. That's just about it. I don't really care about the, the weapon. But, yeah, you can find this weapon in Trumbull Valley like, itself as a, one of those hidden weapons. I don't exactly remember where it is, but I think it's in some medical facility uh, or in a, in a medical outpost in a red bag or something like that, but I can't perfectly describe it. We'll take the seeds and get the hell out of here. 100, eh? Just for four seeds? Okay, we got gypped. Whatever. Nearest outpost. Let's go. Switch off to someone else. Oh, nice shot. Thank you for the backup. Surprised you didn't want to come running out here, you know, to take him or take her, you know, head on with your melee weapon like other people like to. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let me go, let me go up against this juggernaut. It's like there's there's no sense of threat. I mean, yes, I know they're AI; they, they don't necessarily sense anything, but there's no um, um, like threat level programmed into them. It's like, okay, there's a juggernaut and a feral. I might want to keep my distance or something. You know, I guess maybe that's a little too logical. I don't know how difficult it is to actually program AI, but god damn. Oh my gosh. It's the zombie traps. They're not working. Wait, you guys again? I could have sworn that we had that mission earlier. I don't know. Actually, you know what? She should just hold on to those. Yeah, just keep those, because we're going to be switching back to you at some point anyway. Extra, no, extra fire, please. Okay, there you go. Let's switch out to somebody else. Anybody. Nighttime survivor? Okay, dude. Lee, you're up. Alright, fragrance. Fine, we're right there. We'll help you guys out. Yeah, don't rush me. How's the pistol? Is it automatic? Okay, good. Better yet. What about, uh, what about this one? Yeah, this one's better in every way. Look at that. Oh, snap, it's not the right ammo. I thought that was the exact same ammo. Okay, never mind, never mind. Keep your goddamn pistol. Uh, wherever we put it there. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's the right ammo? Okay, good. Cure. None. Fire. We got one unit. Let's craft a little bit more fire. We're going to probably keep it on the Molotovs, though, because um, we're trying to save up a bit. 60 parts. More fuel. Alright, get the fuel going again. We have plenty of food to go around, so... And look at that. 
and ready to go for another round. Hopefully this will um, sort itself out before daybreak. Play some more games, guys. Let's keep it happy. No, we're not going to need that. And we just crafted cure. We need cure. Okay, we just crafted the fire. I think we were about to have everything that we're going to need. Perfect. Okay, plenty of Molotovs. Excellent. Whoa, ammo. Jesus Christ, are you, like, over? Oh, okay, we got plenty to go for ammo. Wow. Let's keep that thing going, because we're going to need a lot of pipe bombs when we're ready. I got some bad news about one of our trade partners. Okay. Yes, we can. Let's help out the fragrance, and we'll be right back. Unless this mission turns out to be stupid again, because I remember going there, and there was just, like, an army of Zeds that we had to kill off. And then the mission was just over. I have no idea what actually happened. And I'm very surprised that these guys have stuck around for this long, man. Like, they're in an actual, like, you know, legitimate base. They usually don't last that long in these places. Either they go hostile, or they say, okay, it's time for us to move on. Or maybe they end up getting killed, I don't know. What the hell's going on? Okay, I'm just keeping you all alive. Alright. Oh my gosh, why are these guys everywhere? They did not prepare with explosives either. This is going to be tough. Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, guys, like, if y'all got firearms, this is where you guys really have to come in and help. Because I don't think I can really do much with a sword here. Alright, we might have to keep this in the walls, maybe. Because we got streamers out here that are going to be assholes. Wow. You guys are hella freaking annoying. I don't think I killed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope! Oh, no! He doesn't have full swordsman. Or sword play. Whatever. Uh, this is bad. Without explosives, I don't, I don't know if this is possible. Um, these guys are probably gonna die. I could still run back and get explosives. Provided that, you know, you Zeds leave me the hell alone. Come on, come on, kill him. Oh, Jesus, let's go. Uh, let's see if we can actually help these guys out. I don't know if they're dying at this point. Is it going to penalize me for leaving the mission area? Okay, no it won't. We can go back and get explosives, come back and see if we can kill that bastard. Uh, yeah, anytime. I don't think I did much. Okay. So does that mean it's going to be a reoccurring mission with them or what? Because, I mean, you guys still look like you're in some, you know, deep-ish right now. Oh, who the hell is that? Get the hell away from me, please. Alright. Okay, if we don't have to go back, then we won't. Let's not ra well, waste the resources. Keep the pipe bombs where they are, because, well, we're going to need them. Oh, man. Yeah, we've been having a lot of juggernaut encounters today. Let's continue on with Kelly. Return your fire. Uh, and your... Wait, why do we have two cures? Whatever, return them both. And the distractions. Keep everything else. Yeah. Okay, Kelly, you're up. Oh, hold up. Infirmary. Yeah, sure. Throw you in there. Everybody else is okay? Good. Don't do anything stupid before I get there. Okay. Does she have everything? Yep, I think we left her with all the stuff. You know what? Take the pipe bombs, just in case. And if someone's gonna get greedy or whatever, uh, we'll probably need a couple more of these bad boys. Um, yeah, take the pipe bombs. Just be stacked, okay? Even though she's not a pack mule, it's best to have her prepared for any situation. Well, we gotta go back to her. I bet the Juggernaut is still there, too. Oh, my gosh. 
As I said, guys, this game does not really forget its freaks. Not easily. Like, look at that. Uh, we're gonna need gas, actually, before we make it there. We probably can make it on this gas, but if we're gonna need, like, a quick escape or something... Yeah, I'm not gonna get caught with my pants down. We'll craft some extra gas just to bring with us, because we're probably... We still have some more driving to do. And... Let's repair it. And you guys already know, I don't like preparing, uh, repairing my vehicle very early. I try to wait that bad boy out as much as possible, but given the circumstances we're going into... I'd rather not have any major hiccups. Alright, put you away. We still have the health kit in there, which is good. I don't care about the board game or whatever the hell this thing is. The handheld device. Which I still think should be a useful item, but you know, whatever. Um, gas. Uh, gas, gas, gas. You. We still have that C4 in there. We're going to have to make a creative use of that. Not on a juggernaut, no. We're going to save that for the end game. Like, the end, end game. Because uh, that could come in useful with juggernauts. That can come in useful even with humans if they want to come through the correct door. Uh, you know, we'll see uh, how that goes. It's best to just kind of have it on the side. But I, I would like to use it, man. I think there, it's like a squander to have C4 in your inventory and just leave it unused. You know, you can leave guns, you can leave Molotovs or fuel bombs unused, but if you have Willy Peets, C4s, um, military mines, like, you know, those those hard-hitting bad boys, it's like, wow, what a waste. It's almost like getting someone with programming um, after you've destroyed all the hearts. It's like, what the hell is the point? Personally, I don't see much of a point with drone strikes other than, like, use against plague hearts. Um... Because using it against Zeds will literally only bring in more Zeds. Using it against humans, you can use it... Oh my gosh, this woman is freaking crazy. Oh man, we gotta get him. We gotta get him. Hun, you better run the hell away, please. Okay, perfect. Stay right there. Got you. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get you with the grenade. Come and get it. Move. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, you... Oh, okay, good. Oh, man, I thought he escaped the, uh, the radius. Okay, that was a lot that we had to use up. But that's okay. This girl better not be freaking dying right now. Come on, get your stamina up. Let's go. You know, good thing she's, like, carrying a heavy weapon, because at least she can defend herself against regular Zeds easy. Um, much easier. All right, hey. Never mind. All right, hey. Hold up a second. I heard our friends, the friendly faces, are planning to ambush the trade summit and take everything. Oh. Okay. Friendly faces will become hostile. Where are the friendly faces exactly? Adventurers. Network. Run oh, that's never mind. Someone else. Colony of survivors. Fragrance. I mean, depending on how far away they are. I'm not even seeing them on the map. Are they just kind of not around? The miserable lot? I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't know. Um, okay, they'll become hostile. Is, is there really a point in talking sense into them? That almost seems like I can walk into a really bad, like, situation. Like, I think I've done this route before where I didn't want them to be hostile and I tried to talk some sense into, into them. And in talking to them, you know, it was either, hey, you know, help us out or we're going to try to kill you. And it's kind of, yeah, let's, let's just say, let's just make them hostile. Screw it. Clear the area of hostiles. All right, so that's where you guys are. All right. That's where the road racer is. So I think they're in a barn. I think that's a barn. Either that or this was the barn. A solar farm. A storage shed. Okay. It's daybreak. I'm going to see if I can bring someone with... Not you. Definitely not you. But I'm going to see if I can bring someone with me. It's nice to have someone for backup. The adventurer is scavenging. And wits XP. I mean, experience at this point doesn't really matter, right? The colony of survivors. Overflow barracks. That's extra beds. I think the soldiers are... That's where you guys are. 
I don't know, unless they don't have that free following thing. Okay, whatever. We'll just pick anybody. All right, Trumbull Trader. Nice seeing you, hon. Okay, we have the flashbangs, grenades. We're going to need more pipe bombs. That's a must. Fire. Screw off, please. I don't know if we even have a sniper rifle in our weapons lockup. Yeah, we don't need to fill up on gas. No, 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 no. Keep the health kit in there, though. We're going to grab somebody else who can come and help us. I guess from there, I don't really care who. But ideally, someone who's, like, you know, at least looking healthy. You know, if we're lucky, maybe a Juggernaut will be there, too. Except he'll be, you know, paying attention to our enemies. That would be great. Maybe even Ferals, too. But, you know, Ferals are a bit iffy. They'll go after anybody. Is that a Feral that I just heard? I don't know. Let's go. Hey, you guys. I require your services today. Wherever the hell you guys... Are they not here? Yo, am I missing? Oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say, what's going on here? Alright, your health and stamina are normal and your skills suck. Where the hell is the rest of your team? I am hella confused, dude, because I have no idea where anybody is. Oh, Jesus. Here, the other one. And he missed. Jackass. Yeah, screw you, okay? Both of you. Yeah, suck on that. Assholes. Here I am thinking that maybe his team is out there fighting, but no, it's just the freaking ferals waiting to ambush me. Whatever, we're just gonna have to take this guy along, and I really hope he's armed. Not seeing a gun on him. He might not actually be armed. I'm not so inclined to trust him. Oh, he's got a pistol. He's got a pistol. Oh, there's your team. Hey, you got a heavy weapon. I trust you even more. And your stats are pretty much normal. Yeah, we'll take you on. What do you guys have to trade, though? Just gas? Nothing else that's offensive. No. Fine, come along. Yeah, we gotta visit an outpost... And take on these bastards. Better now than later, because uh, it's daytime. Okay, let's go, hon. Where are we heading? There. We're going to stop off here first. And then we'll do this. Something came up that you should know. No way. Where? That will come in rather clutch. Because I think I know exactly what I want to get from them. If they have what I'm looking for. If. But yeah, that can come in very, very clutch. A grenade launcher would be nice. A uh, perfect deterrent not only for juggernauts, but also for humans, too. Um, a gas launcher, that's mainly just a human thing, though. Unless you pair it with fire, then, you know, it's good again. Oh, come on. Oh, seriously? Come on, man. Stupid Maximilian and your low suspension. Oh, yeah, I gotta see what this trader has. We have the influence. We might as well just freaking use it. There's no need finishing this game rich, right? Unless you got, like, I don't know, something like bonus for finishing with however much influence, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh, do we really have to take the long way around this? It's kind of looking like it. Can I take the river at least? Maybe there's some kind of a shortcut. Maybe. Nope, can't get over those rocks. That's not happening. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, great. All right, not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Alright, which spots do we have to look at? Got this one up here. 
please don't have a juggernaut outside. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'll have to dismiss Homegirl before I can actually use her. Okay, is he here? Of course not. I think we would have seen him here or something. Yeah, he's not here. Ugh, these freaking mountains, man. Let's go for that one then. That's probably a little bit closer. Oh, hold up. Excellent. You're here. What do you have? Let's get down to business. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, there it is. She's got it. She's got the weapon we're looking for. Perfect for hostiles. And only now am I finding the skill respect textbooks, but these are pointless to have now. I don't really care. All right, this is it. Perfect. Thank you, hon. I appreciate your business. We're going to keep this in the trunk for now. Keep that equipped. Okay, let's go. To these hostile assholes. Um, we still have to stop. Yeah, you can screw off. I think we still have to stop at our outpost just to pick up some explosives. We've only got one grenade. Um, yeah, we're going to go back this way. Okay, so I could save this grenade launcher either for the summit, or at least half of the ammo anyway for the summit. I could. I don't know, we'll, we'll feel it out. I prefer to take, uh, you know, um, a less or, or a more risk-averse, you know, pathway here. Uh, we're directionally challenged. Never mind. We'll cut through this way. At least I think we can cut through here without, you know, ending up in some ditch. Okay, good. Okay, that's where they are. And our outpost is right here. Alright, we got this, guys. We got this. Pretty sure a couple of pipe bombs won't weigh me down too much. Okay, where did we leave them? Oh, we had to use them! That's right, I forgot. We had to use the pipe bombs. Stupid juggernaut. Okay, we can't abuse these things. Not until the end game. Three pipe bombs should do. We still have... Yep, good. And we have fire. Rounds. Are there any alternative weapons that we will need? A sniper or something like that? Come on. Navigation, jeez. Oh, jeez, not the right, not even the right caliber. If you're taking on hostiles, guys, I would personally just, w I would just say, yeah, don't use, um, don't use anything below 5.56 five, or 7.62. Anything else, it's, you're gonna have a hard time taking them out. You know, unless you go right up to them, and you don't want to, like, uh, you know, unload your magazine, then sure, go for it. Okay, the Cleo Heavy Sniper. How much Cleo ammo do we have? Snap! None! We have no Cleo ammo, so we're going to save that. We'll, we'll have to save that one. And we can't even call the Prestige Trader to buy any more. Whatever. We also have the Gas Launcher, which will definitely make things a bit heavy. Again, we should save it too. Why are we taking it? I don't know why I selected it. Let's go. We're burning daylight. Oh, Hunt, get in the car, man. What are you doing? Where are these assholes? Wait, am I heading towards the right? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, okay, good, good, good. I don't know why I was thinking, like, oh, wait, I'm heading towards the traitor again. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any vantage points, really. Other than the fences. Not really vantage points, just more like... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just make a small gap here. Alright. Our vehicle is not very tall. Uh, the van would have been more ideal for something like this.
Okay. Still have our rifle. Uh, we should be ready with the pipe bombs. We can use the grenade launcher too. This will slow me down. Yeah, it's okay, hun. No, no, no. We need, we need both. We need both. Not so much the heavy weapon. That one I'm not too worried about. Anything else that's weighing us down? Nothing else we can do. Nah, we're, we'll, we have to travel heavy. In which case, keep the heavy weapon. Screw it. Let's see if I can get their attention. Alright, great job. You found the noodle knife. <laughs> okay, you guys are just going to stay inside, huh? Okay, looks like they really don't want to move. Okay, this close, pointless to actually use the explosive. Let's go with you. Come on. Open the door. Come on. Okay, I'll bait you out just a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you felt that. Oh, you guys really don't care. Okay, we're going to have to... Getting close and personal with this one. Time for you to go straight to hell. Okay, all right. Alright, got you. Reload the weapon. Move it, move it. Let's go. Alright, got him. Oh, geez. Alright, we got quite a lot of attention here, sweetheart. We gotta go. And uh, we're only gonna get more. Alright, nice hustle, nice hustle. It's alright, I got you, hun. Come on. Can you squeeze in? <laughs> Let's go. I want to loot their bodies, but not with you here. I don't need to get you killed. Alright, nice hustle, hon. Very well done. Let's just, uh, let's just get you a bit of a distance away. Alright, now we can dismiss you. Or I can keep you for the ride, but... Nah. You'll just get yourself killed. Anything? Well, you guys didn't have anything to trade, did you? Uh... No. Other than a first aid kit? No. No. All right. Thanks for the help, hon. I appreciate it. Okay, let's see what we can loot from these guys. Man, I'm not going to lie, guys. I got a little bit nervous doing that. You know, like, when it, when a hostile has their gun pointed at you, it, it's... It's like, ah, oh, shoot. I could go down right now. But luckily, I did not take any fire. I doubt that these guys really had anything good, but I always prefer to check. And yeah, honestly, pipe bombs work wonders against them. I will say that. Pipe bombs are great. Did their bodies disappear? Oh, that's gotta be one of them. Oh, I guess they... Yeah, they turned. I didn't actually kill, like, demolish them or anything. Who the hell is that? Oh. Oh, hun, just go home, please. Oh, jeez, don't make me save your ass now. I think she's fighting. Oh, geez, she's fighting. I'm gonna have to go save her. Okay, you've got that. That's 556. Five, Valley knife and a machete. Oh, we don't care. Alright, fine. Let's go save her before she freaking dies. Like, hun, come on. What are you doing? Alright, there you go. Go free, please. Alright, so we just had to waste some more fire for that one. Let's try to switch off of Homegirl. I don't know if sleep really, or how tired they are, really has any kind of effect in their final missions. It doesn't look like it. I just like to minimize that risk as much as I can, just in case there actually is an effect. Um, to find here. Yeah, I guess the rest of them just, like, took off. Maybe with the rest of the hordes after we drove away. That is Okay. We're okay anyway. We are okay. Mission complete. Great. We got him. Let's get the hell out of here now. Do 
Okay, we still have the zombie threat at home. That's about to take place in seven seconds. Aw, oh, man. That's ammo gone now. Okay, Mysterious Wandering Freighter, we already visited you. Let us, uh, yeah, we have nothing else to do out here. For now, anyway. Alright, nice landing. I was really hoping it wasn't going to flip over or something, man. Okay, yeah, those hostels weren't that bad. They were okay. You know, they were okay. It's nice to have another person around, though, just in case. I mean, she was putting in some work. Homegirl ran in. I don't even think she used her firearm. I'm not even sure if she even had one. But yeah, she was going in with her heavy weapon, taking down or trying to finish the job um, after I put them down. You know, well done, hon. You did good. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, huh, 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 keep that, yeah, we're going to keep everything where it is. Keep your weapon. We're just going to stalk her up on some explosives. I'm not sure what mission exactly is next. Maybe it's the final one, not sure. We still have the C4, which she's definitely going to take. In fact, you know what, we're going to use the van uh, for the final mission. At least it can hold the most stuff. Keep those explosives in there. The grenade? Sure, keep the grenade in there too. Not the stim, not the stim, the grenade. Okay, keep that in there, and keep that one in there until we have to use it. In which we might use it on the humans arriving. We'll need to craft some more ammo too. We might need some more 762. Health kit, you and you. You guys are all going in the van. Okay, never mind. Maybe just the gas. Health kit, or repair kit's fine. Okay, good. Uh, now we just need more explosives. That was noisy. And possibly... Oh, ammo's doing really good. We're okay on ammo. We'll probably just take the rest of it with us, too. We might not even use the blast rifle. Actually, we'll take it, just in case we need it. Because Ish can hit the fan. Now that's heavy. I'm also considering just bringing along one of my people, too. Ideally, you know, someone who's armed well. Okay, good. So we got all the extra weapons there. You've got your cure, health, stamina, ammo, flashbangs, which we surprisingly didn't actually have to use. We did just fine with the um, molotovs and uh, and pipe bombs. Uh, smoke screen. Smoke screen also really does work wonders with humans. It really does. Uh, I could bring someone else along, and they can hold some of this stuff too. And I can always just. Talk to them. Okay. Alright, Jeff. Yeah, I think we're doing alright, guys. It's fine. Oh, and that just made us heavy. Oh, the repair kit. Never mind. It's the repair kit. That's fine. Just throw it in there. Whatever. Just throw the repair kit in there. Okay, good. We're Gucci. Now that she has herself set up, I don't know how long her next mission is going to take. We're just going to switch on over to Jeff. Or wherever. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Shouldn't be too difficult to do, right? Why does everything have to be so goddamn far? You're gonna need some cure yourself there, buddy. You take one of those, you got the ammo, perfect. Health, stim, fire, just in case, and distractions. Wait, hold up a sec. Oh, you're not even full marathon, doesn't matter. Uh, don't take the van. The van is being reserved right now, but yeah, sure, take the truck. That has nothing in it. Not even a ga not gas, not even a repair kit. We'll put the repair kit in here, actually. I mean, this one doesn't need three. I think that'd be a bit much. That's a no! Oh, man, the navigation can be really annoying sometimes. You expect it to go to a certain square, and then it doesn't go to that square. It goes to a different one. 
Man, this truck looks clean. It's not going to stay like that forever, and you know, even once you repair a vehicle, it doesn't look absolutely perfect. All right, let's let's go. Let's, let's, yeah, okay. No, you don't. Survivor activity? No, no, no. They don't have stuff to trade. They might actually just be hostile. Yeah, I don't trust that at all. When did you get here? Piss off, please. Piss off. Oh my gosh, dude. Was there really was he really there? Like seriously? Oh, you asshole. That is so annoying. I need a break. Yeah, you need a freaking break. I cannot stand that. They just have to be out of sight, eh? Too bad he's not a marathon runner. Otherwise, I'd definitely be having him travel light. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, you moron. Seriously. My god. I'm so annoyed. Jesus Christ, dude. You literally stood there. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like there's a, a delay in command. Sometimes. I can't, like, pinpoint it. But it does happen. Oh, you jackass. What a way to exit the base. A hidden frickin' bloater. Like, who would have really predicted that? And then look at that. Here comes old jackass. You know what? You know, this is why we have distractions. Go that way. Go over there. That's not exactly far enough. He's still probably going to see us. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that asshole is, though. Look at him. What a piece of shit, you smartass. Oh, man, that was annoying. Like, that feral, like, he almost killed me. Oh, boy. Wow. All because of a bloater. And this is why I say bloaters are easily the most, I repeat, the most annoying freaks in the game. They're, they're, they're just there. They're these landmines. I found your missing unit. The hell? Okay. Sometimes I really wonder, like, what is up with all these, like, these, like, these radio chatters? Like, some of them, okay, I can understand, like, you know, they'll give you, like, little tips here and there and all that. But, like, other times, it's like, like, why? And why are we intercepting them? Like, is there any major, uh, significance? Oh, come on, and that's why I hate these goddamn trucks, they just get stuck. Like, when you really don't expect to get stuck, you, you will get stuck. Yeah, I have no idea what these radio things are all about. Sometimes they're interesting. Uh, like, you know, come to Trumbull Valley. It's like, you know, I get the significance of that. Or, hey, you know, if you're gonna, you know, uh, make sure you have all the things that you're gonna need before you leave your base. Like, yes, that is useful to think about. Have all of your bases covered, uh, so to speak, before you actually go out, because you never know. Um, but the red talon thing, I don't know. I swear T-Dog has to be, like, I don't actually know, but I swear it's a, a, a Left 4 Dead, not Left 4 Dead, what do you call it? A Walking Dead reference. Actually, you know what, before we get some, like, corner spawning Zeds, let's just search out the rooms. I think the update should have gotten rid of that, but I can't verify. Uh, not exactly. Come on, come on, let's just get this over with, alright? Homeboy's clearly just not having a good day. Look at his health. Thank you. Stupid bloater. And then the stupid feral. A good thing that, you know, the Juggernaut didn't want to join in because that would have been a very different, like, experience. Alright, awesome, great. Let's get the hell out of here now. Alright, Jeff, yeah, you're having a uh, you're having a hard day, uh, dude. Once once we get you home, I think you're just about you're you're done. You don't even have any cure. So now we're kind of doing dangerous things. Kelly, when is your next mission, hun? We gonna go to that trade summit yet? I think we're just about prepared with everything we might need. We might need some more pipe bombs. 
I didn't realize that was a bloater right there. I'm dead serious. I, I honestly didn't even see him until I just passed him. That could have been very different, too. Oh, man. Bloaters are freaking disgusting. Hate those assholes. I swear every, like, zombie game with, like, mutations or, you know, something that's outside of the regular Zed, every single one of them has that one Zed that explodes, and they all have one... Look at that. Perfect. Excellent. Um, yeah, they always have one that explodes or something like that. Uh, you know, Dead Island, Left for Dead, the boomer. Um, this uh, State of Decay, obviously. Even Back for Blood. And I mean, I'm not surprised. You know, Back for Blood, it's, you know, I guess you can say it's like a, an inspired offshoot of Left for Dead. So, I mean, that's only expected. But yeah, any game where there are there's something beyond the regular Zeds, there's always that one that explodes. And then, of course, there's always the tanky one. Um... And that's not a complaint or anything, it's just funny, you know? How much more creative can you get with Zeds? Uh, or, or zombies and, you know, their mutations and all that great stuff. You only go so far. I haven't seen any of the, anyone with, uh, with flying zombies or something like that. That's probably, that, I think that'd be the only next step possible. Like you have ones that fly and like drag you away or something like that. <laughs> okay. Um, we need to, I think we should bring someone along, ideally, um, someone that's well armed. We're probably going to bring the Red Talon agent with us. They can help. I can always dismiss them if I really need to. Kelly, you're up, sweetheart. Wait. Wait, not yet. Does he have anything else to drop off? Just drop off the fire in case someone else can make use of it. It's nice to have a good amount of fire. Okay. All right, Kelly, you're up. Ready to get this trade summit started? That's great. Uh -huh. Um, we got a juggernaut at the gates, boys. Excellent. I've got a great neutral location picked out. Meet you all there. Okay, he's not too close. No, never mind. He's coming. All right, fine. I guess we can kill, you know, our last juggernaut before heading into the final mission. Though I'm pretty sure it's not going to be my kill. You have your cure and everything, right? Okay, and she's got explosives in case, you know, Ish hits the fan. Hey guys, where's like the 50 cal person, man? Why are you doing this with a what sounds to be a pistol? No, please don't touch the truck, please. You know, it doesn't really matter. Leave the truck alone. Alright, it's nice and crisp. Let's leave it that way. You know, hey, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. Hey. Excellent. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be my kill. Well done, guys. You earned it. Not that it matters, but let's get the water turned back on. Everyone play some games. And everyone's going to be happy. All right, who are we taking with us, man? And we're not even going to give them a 50 cal. I'm going to give them just a high caliber weapon, if I still have them. Uh, that's an option. Anything else? This one. Yeah, this is a nice high caliber weapon. Uh, do we have anything else? No. Temper Wolf. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, I guess that uh, that revolver is our only one. Unless um, someone else is already holding it. Where's the Red Talon agent? Because I'm going to bring that person with me. Probably the most competent person to bring with and we've got extra gas so totally high. forgot that you had that on you uh access inventory That's a lot of stuff. thank you all right booge got plenty of gas i think i would prefer fuel bombs not okay never mind we can't craft any fuel bombs our materials i think are our crafting parts are too low i think yeah yeah, a little too low. We can always salvage something, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll salvage something. Okay, let us find... Is that you? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to salvage a weapon. Alright. Oh, you've got the blast rifle. You know what? We might just actually let you keep that. That's a pretty good weapon. That should be good. You can keep the blast rifle. 
And in fact, we're gonna have we're gonna give you some cure too. Just in case anything bad really happens. You're gonna take that one. No, 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 no. Take the cure. Whoops. You're gonna take that. Okay, you have your you really don't need that ammo though. I'll I'll definitely take the ammo. Right. And you've got extra health and whatnot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If I need to, I can give you some explosives. Let's just salvage a couple of things that we're never going to freaking use. Alright, good. We're never going to use you. Okay. Uh, those have been salvaged. We can take some fuel bombs now, too. Hopefully those aren't going to weigh a little, like, you know, too much. Uh -huh. Fuel bombs. You... All right, got him. No. Let me take this. We're gonna let Homeboy hold on to them. It's nice that he has some extra fire in case I need to grab it off of him. And you're gonna be coming with me too. I need a hand. Yours will do. Right behind you. And who knows, for all we know, this trade summit's going to be rather tame, but again, I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared, absolutely. We're going to need our own cure, and let's see if we can put the ammo in the trunk. Oh, that's why, we have energy drinks too, I don't think we're going to need that much stim. I think we'll be okay. We'll have the help of other people around, we'll be okay. Let's get that cure. That's not where cure goes. Okay, you. Wait, oh my gosh, we did it again. I did not see the cure in my inventory. Whatever, keep two of them. Great, who cares? Uh, I will take the extra fuel bombs. Perfect. If only we had deeper pockets, that'd be nice. Ammo, though, we're good. Yes, top her up. Perfect. Okay, I think we're ready to actually get this bad boy started. All right, Miranda. Let's do this, man. Yes, it's good. Yes, yes, yes. We're good. Good, good. Keep the ammo in the trunk. Uh, sure, let's might as well just take the rest of the fire. You know, whatever. Can't be over-prepared, right? Okay, perfect. Infestation? Yeah, screw it. Infestation, I think, will be the least of our worries. Hey, Miranda. Oh, you're in the- you're inside. Okay, good. Good stuff. Please, no more surprise bloaters. Please, that'd be nice, you know, because he just had to be hiding in the perfect spot next to a feral and a juggernaut. And then the feral almost kills me. What a freaking dickhead, man. That's probably my closest call, or one of my closer calls with a feral. He could have killed me. Okay, guys. We are in the end, or at the end of the end game. And I think, in my opinion, the Trader Summit is the hardest one. It's it's like it's almost like the Builder, except it doesn't take place at home, which is what the problem is. It doesn't take place at home. So you don't have the help of your entire community, uh, like the Builder does. Instead, you know, you're, you pretty much got to bring everything that you can with you and act as if, yeah, this is my community now. Uh, no, 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 we can't go down that way. And I don't trust to make a like a, a van jump because not exactly the greatest vehicle for you know doing crazy stunts. That's for damn sure. Yes, we're doing this. I hate that the other Zeds remain active while that prompt shows up. All right, let's plant our vehicle somewhere where it's easily accessible. I think right here should be good, and it will cover the entrance. Come on, come on, get off. Kind of annoying. Move. Now take its head okay. No, I need to have the trunk facing me. Yeah, that's how I should do it. I should back in. That'd be a smarter idea. Yeah. At least that way I can access it any time, and it should block off some of the Zeds. Sorry there, Miranda. <laughs> Pretty sure they might still fit in, but, you know, this should be good. 
Look at that, I can't even fit in there. That's a good sign, perfect. We'll have access to all of our stuff, and they will have restricted access to us. Okay, let's go, let's go around. We're not traveling heavy, good. Yeah, let's try not to get killed. Oh, well, someone's gonna die. God damn it, we'll really have to protect her now. Okay. I'm down. All right. That was nothing. Right? Yep, and then we talk to you. Not, not you. Probably nothing, right? You guys don't really have anything. Really worth dying for? Fuck me. Oh. We're under attack by some raiders here. Oh, shoot. I did not take in that they were right there this whole time. Jesus Christ, man. Like, I did not expect him to come that quickly. Okay, alright, fire it is, fire it is. These guys are hella annoying already. Like, we just started, no warning. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, stop. I'm getting really tired of this already. Hey, screw you. Wow, they, they literally all came at once. I couldn't even tell who was on my team and who wasn't. Oh my gosh, who's dying now? Like, I can't see what's going on. What is going on, man? Like, wh this is such a mess. Oh, and these guys just don't stop. Yeah, I don't care. Use the fire. Use the fire. And burn alive. Yeah, there we go. These heads are relentless. Die, please. Die. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll debrief after, you know, everyone's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just, yeah, get the hell out of my face, please. I'd prefer that. Alright, Miranda, you're not looking so hot. We don't need any of you guys sneaking in here. Hey, can I shoot through that, please? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Sure as hell, don't trust these guys because they will just walk right in, and someone's bound to hit them. All right, last mag in. Okay, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm gonna need any extra resources from here. Um, I'm gonna, need a lighter load I'm gonna take too. that. We're gonna take you. Maybe you if we need it. Come on, man. Who am I debriefing with? Like, where is this person? And why wouldn't, like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesus, man. Y'all need to just quit. Someone's out there, like... Like, not doing very well, I think. Oh, it's Miranda. Okay. Jesus. Thank you, Miranda. Nice backup. Good shit, dude. How you doing? Okay, good. You're fine. 
Let's go. Inside, please. I'm supposed to be debriefing with somebody. No, not you. David, not you. Who the hell... Oh, is he on the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, if we're gonna be up there, we can switch back to this bad boy. I don't know if we're gonna get any juggernauts, but I'm gonna take this thing preemptively. And I'm going to take you too. Jesus. Let's just get up there because, you know, you know what? I give Homeboy points. He's smart for not staying on the ground floor where all the mayhem was taking place, but come on, dude. You're, you're making things take a lot longer than they need to right now. Great. Please, I hope no one got caught in that. Okay, let's do this. Let's go, 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 hop over. No, don't touch me. You still have a little bit of fire. I should have taken it off of Miranda, too. Oh, my gosh. Guys, we really got to work on our defense here. Like, homegirl, you're literally just standing there. Stop with the automatic, man. Why does it do that? You can piss right off. Why are you outside? Like, dude, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can't with this AI. Miranda, can you get inside? Okay, thank you. Jeez, close the frickin' door. I'm getting so tired of that bite. It's so annoying. Throw the flames. Just throw the goddamn flames, okay? Where did you come from? Guys, hold it down. Okay, guys, where's the bloater? Oh my gosh, stop! Okay, this is not good. We gotta take some health off of Miranda, I think, at some point. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have it. Okay, you're down. Oh, piss off. Okay, I got you. No thanks. Nope, wrong move. Miranda, get him! Okay, Miranda, come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, boy. Did he go back to the roof? Oh, this guy's really pissing me off. 
Let's keep that closed, all right? Because I don't trust any of you guys. Oh, you, you. Stop running away from me, you jackass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I had to use it. I had to use it before the game was over. I had to use it. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot. I swear this part this part's glitched. This kind of speech doesn't come easy to me. Yeah, big surprise. Okay, yeah, it's still glitched. I'm surprised. It damn sure won't ever be easy. But hey, what else is new? All right, riveting speech. Excellent. Wow. Guys, that last one was a lot. I was literally thinking to myself, holy crap, I did not stock myself correctly. Good lord. But all right, there it is. There is the victory lap. And surprisingly, we had no deaths at all through this entire walkthrough. Um, obviously, we got a surplus of survivors, and we're going to have to figure that one out. Uh, but guys, honestly, thank you very much for joining me on this one. Um, next up, I'm probably going to end up doing um, a Heartland walkthrough, mainly because um, after I did the Trumbull Valley map, you know, uncovering some of the story, seeing some of the landmarks, you know, the like the dead plague walls, the different characters and their storylines, uh, it actually got me rather interested. And it's like, geez, I mean, I've never actually played Heartland. Uh, so I figured, why not? Uh, it should be, it should complete the story for me. We played through all of the maps. Uh, we played through Mayor Valley, Cascade Hills, Drucker County, um, Providence Ridge, and and Trumbull. All that's really left for me now was Heartland, and I've never, I haven't, I don't think I've even touched it. So that's going to be a very new experience for me. Um, yeah, so that's probably what we're going to be covering next. But guys, thank you very much for joining me on this one. There's a reason why I left the trader for last because I knew it had the hardest. Um, uh, the hardest final, you know, final missions or the final legacy mission. Builder, I would say, is probably the easiest. And then Warlord and Sheriff are both rather, you know, similar. But Traitor, goddamn. Traitor has an easy time, like, in the, um, like, in the actual, I guess you can say story. Because, you know, you can get the trade depot and you can get everything you want. Like, you know, the Traitor has an easy time, but a really hard freaking ending. And I was thinking to myself, holy shit, I'm going to lose someone and all these resources will go to waste. And that has happened to me before, especially during that glitch where the crowd never stops. Or where the hostiles get confused or something like that. Um, but yeah, cool. I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did. We almost lost Miranda. That would have really sucked. But alright, I think we did pretty I think we did pretty good. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on this one. I will see you in Heartland. <laughs>